So this is Update Our Analytics running on the eSignal platform. Really, really powerful. Uh, and here, if we, if we just take a look at eSignal, here's my eSignal uh, service running in, and Update Our Analytics just sits right on top of that. And in fact, one of the, th the really powerful things about Updater is that we run on multiple market terminals. So it could be your Bloomberg, could be eSignal, could be Thomson Reuters Icon, uh, we run on trading platforms as well, Easy Screen or Tradeport, lots of different uh, feeds, um, f even free services like Google Finance, which we'll, we'll take a look at. New databases coming in all the time, Quandle, that's quite a powerful one, and we've got our own energy feed as, as well. So update a, a really powerful um, way of sitting on these multiple data so services, but I want to show you the the integration to uh, eSignal. So here I have a, a, a NASDAQ list um, and one of my favorite screens here is just like a heat map and the candles here we can see where we're trading so on these stocks here we can see we're trading towards the top of the uh, the range in, the, uh, in these candles so really really great that. Um, with the updater just showing you sort of the starting point, uh, we have all these uh, desktops and layouts and you can run multiple layouts, as many as you like, and you can actually download these layouts. So this layout here um, is actually available in our layouts library. So if I go to uh, eSignal, um, you can then just go and grab this layout so you can you can copy me. And this is a layout that I, I use a lot in uh, in our weekly broadcasts. This is a 4x layout, for example. And here I've got a, a weekly chart, a daily chart, 60 minute chart, uh, daily and 60 minute and uh, 60 uh, daily chart again so just really valuable if you want to pick out screens out of the box and you can save all these workspaces so that um, you can load and, and and lots of our users have multiple workspaces multiple desktops that they they load to look at lots of different things there's no limit to how many charts and how many screens you can have so really a quick way of moving around the data if we look at the the charts themselves um, you know this is again a really powerful aspect and update that you can just go and grab any e-signal chart so if I type in uh, uh, let's just type in a code so I just typed in the letter A it remembered Apple um, so it goes away grabs this data from e-signal straight away this data is from e-signal and you've got the the full history there so um, really really great that you've now in a new analytics environment with your eSignal data and just to show you some of the tools that are available there's a whole series of different chart types um, right the way down full market profile for example you can uh, get lots of different volume indicators um, so here we see the volume indicators um, all these different RSI types for example um, really really valuable so that's a great way of just being able to get these tools and of course all the different things that you would expect to see things like MACD histograms all available uh, in, in Updater. One of the things that's really powerful as well is the shift T function so on any chart you just hit shift plus the T key and it will put all the point and figure price targets on and so it's something that Updater is really renowned for and, and well known for so that's again just a, another great aspect. There's no limit to the amount of indicators that Updater has there's all these uh, different types of seasonality just correlation um, you can even do market breadth indicators across different um, uh, constituent types and then there's the custom indicators an updater has custom indicators with over 1000 custom indicators in our custom indicator library or in our trading systems library so there's over a thousand different chart types that you can just bring to this e-signal data straight out of the box so really really um, another valuable aspect of of using updater and if we um one of the key things with Updata also is that it caches the data. So if I if I look at this uh, this list here, you'll notice this chart down here in the right bottom right hand corner is changing all the time really fast, and that's because of the cache data. And if I want to go and put another template on there I can you can have as many templates as you like so now I can just run through the cache data and it's really super fast so that's just another really valuable aspect um, of updater and because of that cache data it makes the scanning super quick so if I let's run a scan so if I say okay I want to go and look for 
on balance volume divergence. So I've got uh, a pre-written scan there. We've got libraries with all the different scans in, so you can go and get uh, these pre-written scans straight away. And of course, you can write your own through a series of checkboxes. So this one here is um, a scan for um, divergence. And divergence is quite a difficult thing to define. I'm looking for divergence between volume and price um, through the on-balance volume indicator. But you could look for scans with head and shoulders or different candle patterns and we'll look at some more scans in a moment. But really there is um, the no limit to what you can scan for. And of course you can scan for multiple criteria as well. So if I select um, my NASDAQ constituents, notice how quickly it's bringing these results in. It's finding these stocks that are divergent so quickly because of the way the data is cached. So this makes your scanning really, really super quick. And so here we see we've got a whole series of, uh, of stocks. We then can just literally go through and just look at the results. And so we see here where we're seeing divergence between the volume and the price. So the price in this instance is falling but the volume is slightly rising. And so this is really a good way for finding stocks that are doing different things on the volume trend than on the price trend. So that's a one quite useful scan. If I take a look at another scan, so let's look at say a point and figure scan and I'm going to look for stocks that have got um, upside potential of more than 50% and so if I just uh, show you this scan this is this is the scan environment again a series of checkboxes I'm using a 1% point and figure log scale chart this is these charts you won't find anywhere else this is a log scale point and figure chart 1% and then I'm looking for stocks that are in an uptrend and where the target is greater than 50% so that's really what I, I want to do I want to find stocks that meets that upside um, potential of 50%. And I'm going to scan through my, um, my NASDAQ uh, list again. Um, so I'm going to go for e my eSignal NASDAQ list. And this scan is a little bit more complex. The 1% point and figure charts are a really complex chart. So it's going to take probably about 30 seconds to a minute. So whilst it's doing that, let's just look at another powerful aspect of Updata. So what I can do in Updata is I can grab data from different places. So let's say I want to see, um, I want to look at a stock that I don't have on my eSignal subscription, but I do get access to on Google Finance. So here it is, is BP, and I might want to see what is the correlation between that stock, which is coming from Google Finance, and then from eSignal, I can then go and choose, you can see here I'm running lots and lots of different data sources, I can go and choose um, from eSignal. So let's say I want to see the correlation between BP and ExxonMobil, it's taken the Google Finance chart for the BP London data and then using the eSignal data. So with these services like Quandle or Google Finance, lots of data that you may not have readily available in your eSignal, you can now start to mix and match the data to do your own analytics. So again, just a really powerful aspect of, of the Updata um, system. We come back to that scan and here we see now that we've, we're have we just nearly at the end. It's got a lot of work to do. Just even these 1% point and figure charts would take forever to do by hand. And it's found 10 stocks in the NASDAQ 100 that have got upside targets greater than 50%. And now what we can do is we can just scroll through the charts and see these upside targets on the charts. And that is just a really powerful aspect of using the updater system. You can just scroll through and find the charts with those upside targets. Last of all, I want to show you um, using the back testing. And there's again a really powerful aspect of Updata. Updata has the optimized stop losses built in. So if I show you those, you can literally click on any chart and get optimized stop losses across the history. But where's another really powerful aspect is when you want to actually start testing these ideas. So if I run this, and as I said, there's absolutely there's over a thousand pre-written trading systems and custom indicators in the Updata system which you can go and grab. And so the flip-flop stop-loss system is one that I like to use. And so what I do is go and grab these parameters and I'm going to test 
let's say I'm going to test between 2 and 10% with a long, and stop sh long and short stops and I'm going to do it with a step level of a half and if I select my instrument um, so I'll test it on Apple and let's just run that data there's a whole series of transaction costs that I can enter there so I can actually test the system I like to use a frictionless uh, system but it's te it's homing in on where my parameters are it's already telling me it's around six and a half seven percent is the ideal stop to use across the history and so we're just running these scans it's running several passes just to find the optimum results and if I just take you to the um, the the parameters and by the way this is the source code so you can um, you can hover over all the source code this is um, updater's own scripting language but you could also write your own code in Visual Basic or C Sharp um, so a lot of people like to write their own code um, or you can just use the updater scripting language which is just really quick here are the individual results so we can actually just see um, all the trading results from using the system um, the various things like sharp ratios and you can take this out to, to a spreadsheet and analyze it further but the thing that most people want to do is get straight to the chart in fact I normally just take the chart out um, so we actually see the chart on its own um, and if we put uh, the signals on and we've got the equity line on there as well we can just see this trading system and how it said and it said using a six and a half percent long nine percent short it's saying use a very big short stop because um, you you'll get stopped out quite a lot with Apple rising all the time of course and if you want to trade the system you can just say alert me based on this system and it will tell you every time there's a signal given so another really powerful up updater aspect is the scanning and um, scanning and the uh, system testing. So why not take a trial running on your e-signal, get the most out of that data by getting a much higher level of analytics capability.